back to the old Two Stroker YouTube channel. My name's Wayne, and uh, today we're working on junk. And today we're working on some Scatterpillar junk. Last video you watched us do the fuel system and button that up, where it's getting way less air in the fuel, it's like primed, and it's running consistently, no issue. So that's good. Uh, very good. Next, what we got to do is figure out a couple of small leaks, like the return has a leak. I don't know what that is. Maybe somebody can put it in the comments. But anyway, this video, what we're going to do is we got to get some seats in this thing. And we got some a few miscellaneous deal to, bolt, uh, to button up. The fuel tank on the other side is still hanging down with the strap. Uh, and I know there's a couple air leaks that we got to fix. But primarily what we're going to do is get the seats in this thing because you can't drive a truck without seats. I mean, you can in a bucket, but I'm not that kind of guy. So, uh, yeah, we got to do that. So let's get to it. So we got to, like, fix the seat base. I'm not even sure where to begin with that. It looks like it's just rolled steel. These freaking coastal trucks, boys, I tell you what. Corrosion in the strangest places. All right, so what we're gonna do, I think, is I'm just gonna get a wrench and we're gonna blow them off of there so I don't really have to mess with it. And then, yeah, it looks like a pretty simple deal. We'll just uh, bring them down to old Woody, have them duplicate them, whatever's left of them. <laughs> All right, quick to the fabrication section. All right, fellas, I got the free all. I gave her spritz. Oh. Didn't see that coming. Not gonna lie. I just feel like it'd be infinitely cooler if we could sit in this friggin' thing. Don't you? I know. Well, at least that's in good shape. Fairy right, fellas, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm just gonna try to try to hit these with a chisel. I don't know, there ain't a whole lot of them left, but I got a feeling we're gonna have to grind them up. Yeah, it seems kinda solid yeah probably these are just grind them all right we're gonna grind them So what I'm thinking here is we're going to drill holes in this here plate. So the pattern is uh, three and a half wide by ten and a half long. So I'm going to go make this a thing. What we're going to do is we are going to drill it, make sure that bolts slide in easily, and then we're going to weld the bolts in because these are a freaking nightmare to try because there's no way to hold a wrench or anything so if i make it so it actually bolts in done and done so i'm gonna do that all off camera because that's a pain in the ass all 
Alright, fellas. Fuck. Fuck. Alright, fellas, here's where we're at. Down my buddy Woody's. Capital Region Customs. Shout out to you guys. Bent these on the brake for me. Quarter inch. Or, I'm sorry, eighth inch plate. Same as what was here. And they fit perfect first time. So, now that we got our flat bottom all set, I'll show you guys that in a minute. We're going to just cinch these up. I'm just going to do one on each because I've got to clamp this together and then get it to the shop and weld it. I'll show you. Then our plate goes just like that. Goddamn seat crack is. That's how weak that other last one. There we go. So, what we'll do is we will uh, friggin' clamp that. Can't drive this hot rod if you can't sit in it, folks. Okay. That might work. And then, let's see, we'll just put one on the back for good measure here, folks. I'm gonna unscrew it, I think. And we're gonna take it in and weld it, God willing. Yeah, as long as it comes off there nicely, we'll be all right. Oh yeah. Okay, so the welding section. All right, let's see what we get here. Sorry about the light, fellas. Nothing I can do. Yeah, so just about as I expected. Whoops, helps if you put it on correctly. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but it matters. Okay, let's see about here and here. she is beautiful one seat ready to rock so now what we're gonna do is uh there was also like x bracing in here that um that went kind of diagonally from in the middle so man i really don't want to bring this whole goddamn seat over there but I may have to. I feel like that's just a gigantic fire hazard. Um, Cause I'm sure I'm gonna get the friggin' shit all over. All right, fellas. Uh, let's see if we can get this old one 
off of here. I don't know. I might have to use the. Yeah, we'll use a wrench. Oh god, I didn't think that was gonna go right. I don't know if anyone else dumb enough to make two of these. I think they would have just called it with the one, but I can't bring myself to do that. That was way worse than the other side. Holy shnikes. All right, so I guess you're relegated to the floor again. Sorry about that. This is what it is. Sorry, not sorry. Like a glove. I'll just put them on the sides easier. Okay, and this one. Oh boy, those are like real close to coming out. The bolts were like stuck in the track on the other side, and this side they're like really not happy with my life choices. Did get more clamps though. Oh, that's cool. All right, that's going to do her. We'll get it apart and go weld it. All right, fellas. Uh, time for a test fit. Obviously, that seat's not installed. It's just kind of sitting over there. I had to kick it out of the way. So I'm thinking the best bet is probably to set this in the floor and then see if we can't get the seat on it. I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is here. This is kind of a mess. These don't look light though. Can you guys see anything from over here? I'm gonna put you on the clutch pedal. Wow, those things are heavy, dude. I don't see any reason for that.
first one. Right there. Oh yeah. There she is, boys. Oh shit. Question, will it, let's see, how do I just pull this, let me go, oh yeah, that's what we're looking for, I think that's, oh that's seized, great, whatever, it's not here for that, oh, you know we're sitting in it, Oh, dude, look at this. Look at the view from here. Dude, big old freaking caterpillar out there. <laughs> what a treat. Boys. This thing is cool, man. Wow. Is there anywhere I can put this? Oh, there's a little buddy up there, Sam. Not allowed for what we're doing. Sorry, pal. You gone. Dislike spiders. All right. No shit, dude. Not bad. All right, let's see if we can move this seat forward a little bit. Find the lever. Oh, yeah. Actually, the track works really nice. There we go. She locks right in. Not too shabby, boys. I could see this friggin' thing just riding. We're getting there. A little bit more to go, fellas. But we are getting there. Very slowly. Man, these seats. I feel like these seats give you more room than mine. Huh. I might have to get me some of these. All right, fellas. I'm friggin' tired. It's late. I, uh, oh, I don't have any paint, so we can't paint them, but I'm gonna go get paint in the morning, first thing, so that we can paint them, and then I wanna get them in here, like, friggin' ASAT, so I'll bring you back tomorrow, fellas. Alright, fellas, next day. Far from perfect, but they are painted. I'm not much of a painter. I don't have patience for that shit. Especially not with, uh, what do you call it? Rattle can jump off. But, ready to go in a truck. So, all right, boys, we're back out here next day. Um, yeah, we gotta get that thing in there. So, program yesterday seemed to work pretty good by the way it like torrentially rained here a little while ago so the uh floor is soaked because the goddamn sleeper boot is totally deleted which is why these seat bases are the way they are so we're gonna fix that but i'd like to sit in the goddamn thing Boy, that just sets in there so nice, don't it? Almost like we built it that way. Now, let's get this. These goddamn things are not light. Bingo. All right, I think we can. Sick. I think we can bolt that down and uh, yeah, life will be good. So I gotta go under the cab. Nice part about this is I no longer, so on my truck, 
the bolts weren't welded to the plate on these plates so you go underneath the truck and you had to have two people you had to have somebody hold the wrench while you put the nut on so i was like dude i'm i'm just doing this this way i'm gonna i'll jump under there and uh get to bolting it in well she is bolted in it's as tight as it's gonna get it's whatever play is in this thing but ain't too bad i'm yarning on it pretty good um how what is it oh it's totally sittable let's see what we got here that's better Jeez, it better be pretty nice with air in it. Dude, this thing was probably freaking pretty large in the day, man. Rolling around. Big old kitty. King of the streets. Alright. No force shit. That's in really nice shape. Uh, we got work to do. Quick to the other side. Here, boys, got another quick vacuum in here. That was pretty bad. Just rust from this goddamn thing. I think the trick is actually gonna be to put this here, put give me this thing. Set this over on this seat. Left it. Boy, fellas, those drop in really well. Then we just give her a lift. Like I'd be lying to you if I said I could see anything. done nice poor old girl starting to look like something also it's pretty wild that me and goddamn James Pretty seems to do the exact same chores at the exact same time when he was doing the uh, tranny in marla was literally like the day before i did the tranny in rear main in mossy and he just i just watched a freaking guy build a seat base and i've been meaning to do this for months and here we are like what is it two weeks later i'm building a seat base freaking wild anyway if you guys don't uh if you don't watch him go over and and give him a look he's uh Pretty good dude. We I talked to him a number of times on the phone. Uh, tech support for friggin' Marla. And um Yeah, he's just a good guy. Got a pile of old trucks, so if you like old trucks, man, check them out. Freaking sick, fellas. That's how this thing should look. I mean the seats, yeah, they need reupholstered. And it's no big deal to take them back out. But our goal is to get this thing freaking driving again. So, yeah. That's like a major step. Because nobody wants to drive one of these rolling around on a bucket. At least I don't. <sighs> okay, quick. To the air tank and fuel tank section. I have got air tank out of it and welded up a hole into it. And I got the strap off, and we resecured it on the back, which is where it was broke. So that is good now, just like we did for the other side. Uh, I got to reinstall the air tank. I'm not going to film that because it freaking sucks. And yeah, that'll do her.
So then we can start it and see what kind of air pressure it makes, if any. And we'll go from there because I'm sure we're going to be chasing more stuff. Oh, the other thing, it had a major air leak. I noticed when we were running it the other day out of uh, over here on the seat, on this driver's seat, there was a uh, quick connect valve here for like an air chuck so you could plug right into the seat. And I'm assuming that was so he could use air tools while the, while the thing was, while the door was open or whatever. Uh, but anyway, it was huffing air right out of it. So we deleted that. We're going to start there and see what happens but i gotta get the air tank fuel tank buttoned up secured and then i'll bring you back so let's get to it all righty fellas we are in much better shape tanks all bolted up air tanks all dialed together starting to look like something i mean not really but you know it's the small steps that are made for mankind or something like that that's how that goes anyways uh, I'm going to clean up tools here quick, and then we're going to fire it up and see if we get any friggin' air pressure, because it's kind of the point of today's story. Well, in the steeds. BRB. It's time. Let's fire it up. All the oil pissies, that's good. Uh, how's it feel to sit in a running 3408, fellas? Too shabby. Not looking great on the air pressure, boys. That's like torquey. See that? Ha! That thing's kind of sick. This thing either takes like the longest amount of time in the history of time. Oh wow, the power steering works? Oh shit. That's cool. I don't know about this air pressure deal, fellas. I can't believe power steering works. Actually, I can't believe I didn't check that sooner. <laughs> Can you hear any air leaks? Just a turbo. <laughs> Get it? She's a little huffy. It's okay. Of course it's raining. That's about right. Uh, well, we know it's not going to release the brakes because there's not any air in it. Yeah. Dude, this thing ain't going to build no air. Let's, uh, let me fire it up. Let me shut it off. And we'll see where the air pressure leaks are. Or air leaks are. Let me see if maybe, I wanna see if, like does the clutch work, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know, nobody knows. This has gotta go, this is right in the way. What I'm trying to do here. Ooh. It's 
not feel like the clutch works. It's a major air leak behind the dash here. Somewhere. One of the valves. I mean, unless the gauge is bad and it actually does have more air in it, that could be a thing too. I don't know. Oh, air pressure, I get apply. Hmm. Boy, it rocks around when you freaking goose it. That mirror is awesome. That's the coolest thing ever. We need that on Mossy. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut it off. We're gonna put it into gear. Maybe. I just want to see if we can get the clutch to... Clutch is like frozen on. That is very inconvenient. Now we got the drive line all bound up. That's inconvenient. There we go. fellas well that's gonna do it for this one i uh appreciate you watching this garbage i'm sorry it was such a struggle um but we're ever closer there's seats in it now both tanks are secured I and mean, it builds slightly more air pressure we're not there yet i gotta find that air leak behind the dash but i'm probably gonna do that off camera because there's just no, I, I don't even know how to go about that. So it's gonna, probably going to be hours of my life I'll never get back. Anyway, I've been getting a bunch of orders from the website. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, thanks to the patrons. I appreciate it. It's more and more every week. I love it. It's awesome. Makes the guy feel good. But thanks for paying the bills. We will uh, see you guys on the next one. All right, fellas. 
Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we are going to do the drawing for the Battle of the Hats. So, we sold the most of the gray with USA flag hats, so we are going to pick <laughs> one of you guys that ordered one of those hats right now. My wife has this little lovely hat. And see who the winner is. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to commandeer the hat and I'm going to let her pick. This is not fair. The winner is Brian Hecht. H E C H T. All right. Congrats, Brian. Congrats, Brian. We'll get a hold of you. And uh, get you some treats. Thanks, everybody bought a hat. We will see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned because this stuff's kind of fun for us. So I like to do this kind of stuff. So if we could, we'll do something else. That'll, that'll be fun. And, More merch uh, is coming soon. Yeah. Another order. We'll do something fun. See you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.